Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and this is a daily pick a card and birthday reading for April 19th. If you were born today after sunrise, you are a two of diamonds. If you were born before sunrise, you are actually yesterday's card, which was a three of diamonds. All right. So I am going to read each card and then all together for the collective and then a special birthday message for you two of diamonds. This is your solar year card. So they are going to help you manifest to the best of your abilities this year. All right, let's get started with card number one. We got the eight of hearts. Okay, so we're looking at Rahu energy with the eights. That's that exploration and experimenting with wherever your heart seems to desire. This is the heart suit. So it is about you being a more solid, more emotionally balanced you right at your core. So we're looking at, on this Two of Diamonds day, to um, have that energy of the Two of Diamonds help you in this card. So connecting, right? Twos, they're always connecting. It's moon energy. It's um, empress energy. Tuesdays, I'm sorry, Mondays, moon day. And yeah, so here to offer that two of diamonds day energy to help you get to that more self-validated um, emotionally grounded place where you're feeling really good about who you are and what you got going on that you can handle it you know you know exactly what you need all right beautiful so let's see what card number two is we got the two of clubs. Okay, so on this emperor day, this is the emperor, which is the match for the red twos as the empress. So here we are really being able to connect intuitively to what we need in an intellectual kind of way. So questions and answers, making those connections. It is us really getting what we need to feed our brain today. So we're going to collect that knowledge. We're going to feel like sharing it. We're going to be very social in that. And it could come from any influence, books, radio, television, computer, handwritten letters, text, phone, anything. It's going to be that kind of input for you today. And under this two of diamonds energy, you're just going to have all of this valuable in your skills, talents, finances. I mean, the world is open here to you discovering what you need, applying it the way you need to, to really lock in a new better, well-rounded sense of value of something. Really quite lovely. But of course, we could be talking about the other side of the Two of Diamonds too, because we could look at the shadow side now that we've um, expressed the, the lightness of the Two of Diamonds, making all of those beautiful connections. It's an opportunity to connect with something of value today. So the opposite of that is kind of missing the boat, <laughs> ignoring it, right? Or feeling like you've got to uh, compromise to get something. It's not that kind of day. So if you're feeling that, you need to pull the thread on it and see where that takes you, okay? Because um, you want to stay out of the low vibe of the Two of Diamonds and move into that higher vibe of just being happy 
with what you have and seeing the value in what you have. You don't want to look at it as a, the glass half empty and that you have to go to some controversial way of getting something that you want. You don't have to compromise yourself in order to receive. Okay? All right. Don't take the money just because the money's there, you know, and, and burn yourself in it because it will. It'll come around and bite you in the butt. That is the two of diamonds. Okay, let's look at card number three. We've got the nine of clubs in reverse. Okay, so this is a reminder of something that needed to be brought to our attention today. So we may be looking at that lower vibration of the two of diamonds and feeling like we've got to maneuver things, manipulate things, and um, get outside our high vibe self and find ourselves in a position of uh, being asked to give too much or not trusting in what's in front of you. Pay attention to all of that. You'll have this uneasy feeling. The diamond suits are incredibly intuitive and it is the, the, um, empress today that is there to help us that fertility that abundance that she can bring through that feminine energy so yeah if you're feeling any of that disconnect or ungroundedness that is a beautiful place to start to question what's going on and accepting what you find and then asking because in that accepting, you are acknowledging what needs to be healed. And once you know what it is that's up for you, you'll be able to ask your spirit guides and channel source for you to co-create for that clarity and balance that's needed to get you back into that high vibe. Learn something about yourself and take a step in the right direction. All right, so the Nine of Clubs in reverse. What are we looking at here? We're looking for a little bit of guidance. We're feeling like we are off in the wrong direction, or maybe we really are in the off in the wrong direction. We may be being invited to go into the wrong direction. This is K2 energy, so we're looking at that south node of what we may need to let go of. It's going to take a little contemplation. Um, the major arcana card for this is the, the hanged man. So I'm sorry, no, it is the, um, the hermit card. So the red suits are the hanged man. So it's the hermit card that we're looking at here. And so we need to go in and do a little meditation on what it is, how we're going to get ourselves back on the right path in the right direction. This is the right direction card. So we got to figure that out. And the best way to do that is, as I've just said, question what is going on. What are you feeling? For the club suit to be in reverse, it may be something about um, lacking enough emotion, uh, information, um, feeling like you've got too much information and feeling overwhelmed or like you've got too, too much to juggle. You could be overthinking something or you could be daydreaming you know, off on a completely different tangent and off the path completely. So do check in with that and ask your, your diamonds to co-create for that clarity and balance and get back on track with that. Okay, because the two of diamonds day here could go either way for you. Let's, uh, let's try to tap into that higher vibe where we are... Um, asking for that groundedness that a two of diamonds could really bring. Totally needed and necessary with that uh, reversed nine of clubs. 
Okay, so what do we have here? We've got this self-validation feeling pretty darn good about where we are emotionally, making lots of connections, wanting to share, feeling good in the sharing. However, could this be a distraction from where we really need to be focusing our attention? You know, it's all good, right? Until it's not. And we've distracted ourselves so much that we have gotten off the path of where we need to go. So what we're looking for here on this Two of Diamonds Day is that piece of the puzzle that's going to fit. It's a great day to delve into self, really grounded with that Two of Diamonds, really available to make that connection to something of value emotionally for ourselves by asking some questions and getting some answers about us and getting back on the right track. We've gotten the heads up that we could get a little distracted with all of this loveliness today and that's okay, but maybe take a little time to just see how we can put what we find to better use, to make that connection of value and move on down, move on down the, the road. All right. So great day for it. Okay. Two of diamonds. Would you look at these cards that you got? Look at those moons. So you being a moon day card should be very excited about this. I am. Let's see what you got for a Creativity Oracle card. This is to help you manifest this year. Oh, I didn't even see the kitty cat. Little kitty down here and a horse. Hmm. All right, let's take a look. Nature. Go out in nature as much as you can for its pure creativity can teach you everything you need to know. I love it. This is gorgeous. Yeah, because it is all about seeing that. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. That um, design in nature that is in everything. It's funny because I always want to call it Libonarchi. <laughs> I know it's not right, but it has that uh, quality of the spiral and it's throughout nature and it's such beautiful balance and you can use it in your, your art and have that follow through that's just so pleasing to the eye. So do look into that. And uh, forgive my butchering that design name. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can't think of it. Have that come through for me because uh, it's not right now. But you know what I mean. You, you'll figure it out. It is the, on the canvas of the, the Six of Hearts. And it is, you know, to follow through with that natural lure of, knowing your own creativity at its core. It is that natural nature that you possess. So to go out and see that in nature, to get creative with that, no matter what you do, it's beautiful. All right. Let's see what you got with the spirit and nature cards of truth. Oh my God. <laughs> you got your own card. This is beautiful. You making those beautiful connections out in nature, just finding your natural path to a bright, shiny, beautiful you. Let your light shine. Absolutely. Bring together all the talents and skills and even got carpe diem right here. Seize the day. 
Surround yourself with everything that you hold value in. Very lovely. What a great card to get on your birthday. Just you being more you and looking, right? Seeing things that that are there for just you and your natural creative abilities. All right, let's see what you got for a wishcraft card. Moon wishes. The moon shows me patience. Well, this certainly is a two of diamonds day and a very happy birthday. Very solid for you. All right, that is a beautiful message. So do pay attention to the moon cycles and, you know, your patience, right? What, uh, what makes you impatient, right? And go there because you'll learn a lot about yourself. And so, okay, happy birthday, two of diamonds. I hope you make the best of it. And for everyone else, carpe diem on this two of diamonds day, it is perfect. But remember to do it with kindness and curiosity. And as always, happy creating.